I'm not a fan of anyone under the age of 18, 21 maybe. Dude, I love this. Okay, dude, dude, dude. This is literally like a like a Washington Inquirer article. I feel like this is something that like Neon Ass Taster would write for his uncle's newspaper. You know what I'm talking about? This is straight up like from the halls of conservative intelligentsia. Like back in the day, video games used to be about brotherly love and now they're about violence. <laughs> oh my God, fans will be, fans are worried. Normal people Those... become terrified. What the fuck is this? So, uh, for context, we will... Oh, actually, I don't even know if I can... Can I play this? What came out just uh, today. Scheduled for De uh, December 5th. Well, dude, why is he watching, reading Sport Kita? But, and they want to indoctrinate and give another perspective on life. Like, have you ever thought... Hey, 15-year-old boy, have you ever thought what it was like to be a... Uh, a ex-convict single mother <laughs> <laughs> well you should i don't i don't Maybe that's good. Oh. i don't know if that's the angle i think it's more like some uh, uh two things happen rockstar hires a 24 year old 10 years ago and uh you know they're they're working in the mail room or something 10 years later they're in marketing and they're in their mid-30s and they say, okay, so we're going to finally be put it's it's been how long like 10 something 10 or longer than 10 years right since gta 5 came out and they're like, we're going to be launching Grand Theft Auto 6. Finally, the game is done. How, or, 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 or I'm sorry, actually, we should, we should go back in time a few years. They said, we're conceptualizing this game. What should we do? And this person said, well, if you want to get people our age, you've got to make it, you know, uh, social justice. And the character should be a woman. It should be. Grand Theft Auto has always made fun of American politics. Always. This is a person who has never played Grand Theft Auto, I assume. Grand Theft Auto has historically always made fun of how ridiculous American politics is and how ridiculous America is in general. Why does he, why do people do this? Like, you don't have to fake it, dog. You don't have to say something because everyone's talking about it. There's another thing that I wanted to show you. Yeah, the Elon Musk tweet, if anyone has it in the chat. Oh, here it is. To add to that, the Elon Musk tweet. This is the greatest tweet I've ever seen of all time. Okay. One of the most pathetic and funniest reply chains I've ever seen. Please, dude, look at this. 200 and... 13,000 likes. A list of games I have not played. Grand Theft Auto 1, Grand Theft Auto 2, Grand Theft Auto 3, 4, 5, and 6. To which Elon Musk responds, Tried, but I didn't like doing crime. Grand Theft Auto 5 required shooting police officers in the opening scene. Just couldn't do it. Ian Miles Chong replies, who, by the way, was a literal woke, like, Kotaku article writer, wasn't he? Back in the day. Anyway, Elon, Ian Miles Chong replies to it and says, I'm glad shooting cops in Cyberpunk 2077 is completely optional. Never finished GTA 5 either. I have never seen a stupider sequence of words. I mean, thank God these guys are able to pop off. The blue whale's vagina is the second biggest pussy in the world behind you three. <laughs> what is this? Oh no, you fucking... T uh. Epic Mickey 2 had better come out on the PS3. Do I pick up Epic Mickey 2 or Hitman Absolution? What game are you most excited to play this year? Michael, where the f do you come up with this, man? M HUD, there's something wrong with your brain, dog. Who the fuck goes, let me search Epic Mickey? God damn. Let my man live. He's. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Ian Miles Wrong lives in the only country polled by uh, Pew Research to have a overwhelmingly negative opinion on America, which makes the fact that he, uh, the, which makes the reality that he LARPs as someone who lives in Portland, Oregon, despite the fact that he lives in Malaysia, even funnier. He's the only guy in Malaysia that likes America. There are statistically way more unfavorable opinions of America in Malaysia where Ian Miles Wrong has always lived and has never left, as a matter of fact. He's never been in the United States of America. He's only lived in Malaysia, a country that has more negative opinions of America than any other country on the fucking planet. This makes it so much funnier. It makes it so much funnier that he is the one guy Never left Malaysia, but lies on the internet as though he lives in America. He got community noted. Ian Miles Chong has written up up to 255 Game Ranks articles covering Grand Theft Auto 5, including descriptions of personally killing or evading, evading virtual police in game single player mode. Community notes ate you alive. Also, people are calling you a pedo, by the way. Not sure if you knew that. <laughs> 
Playing Grand Theft Auto 5 and, uh, yeah, it's better than any modern day open world game that's been released since. Sorry, Mafia 3. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Wait, what? I guess you don't have to be in a country to go native? I don't get it. Why are these guys such New GTA. massive losers? You should be embarrassed to be this big of a loser. The Tate Brothers speaking out against Grand Theft Auto 6. I'm not a fan of anyone under the age of 18, 21, maybe playing video games where the goal is to shoot police officers. Hey, 6 is out. Have you ever played any GTA? This is a genuine question. I've never played any of them. I believe that I played the first one that's like a top-down, bird's-eye view, kind of 2D. Not wrong. That is the f that Grand Theft Auto 1, 2, and London were all bird's-eye fuck game without any real graphic violence back when I was maybe 10 or 11 or 12. Without any graphics violence? What the fuck do you mean? It was way more violent. Grand Theft Auto 1, 2, and London, you could literally take a tank and drive over uh, uh, Girl Scouts. Girl Scouts would unironically be walking in a single file line and you could drive over them straight up. It was so much more violent. When, whenever it came out, I, re I do recall that. But you know what? I want to speak about GTA 6 while, while you're on the topic, because now we're actually talking about something that's relatively important. Video games aren't necessarily evil. But, you know, I remember when video games, because I'm very old, I'm an old man. I remember when you used to play a little man in a red hat trying to rescue a princess and teaming up with your brother. Now, if rescuing purity from evil while teaming up for your brother isn't a good theme of a video game, that I don't really know what is. I'm not a fan of anyone under the age of 18, 21 maybe. Dude, I love this. Okay. They're, uh, dude, dude, dude. This is literally like a, like a Washington Inquirer article. Like, I feel like this is something that like neon ass taster would write for his uncle's newspaper. You know what I'm talking about? Noah Blum or whatever the fuck his name is. Like, I feel like that's the type of shit you would see on, on like, The Federalist, you know? This is straight up, like, from the halls of conservative intelligentsia. Like, back in the day, video games used to be about brotherly love, and now they're about violence. Like, it's like a boomer that doesn't understand anything. It's just funny because, like, yeah, it would be something that, like, yeah, Rod Dreher would write something like this. You know what I mean? Like, where are the Christian values? Where are the Catholic values in, in modern video games? Like, and what's really funny, what's especially funny is, like, these are not closeted homosexual men living in Hungary, okay, with blood boys. These are... Okay, okay maybe, okay, the closeted homosexual thing might actually... Okay, there's more similarities with Rob Dreher than I thought previously. But having said that, they like literally work with the Romanian mafia. You know what I mean? So what the fuck do you mean? Oh, Grand Theft Auto is teaching bad... <laughs> Grand Theft Auto is teaching bad ideals to children, which is why you should buy my pimping these broads course online at Hustlers University. The fuck? Have you seen your work, man? Like, they LARP as though they're Grand Theft Auto people, right? It's so weird. No one has ever tailored themselves so closely to a comical, satirical Grand Theft Auto character as the Andrew Tate brothers have. Which is hilarious that they're like, yeah, it's bad. Maybe he's just saying it's bad because they want to be the only guys in town. No, before you say they GTA IRL, no, that's not true. You're giving them too much credit. They would unironically be like comical villains in Grand Theft Auto because of how they have presented themselves to the real world. Like, they are like the insecure Grand Theft Auto, uh, like the classic Grand Theft Auto antagonist that you would see, like a side mission. As a matter of fact, they might be in the last, uh, in the upcoming game. Playing video games where the goal is to shoot police officers. 
I just don't think that's good for society. With all... I've never seen such a stupid fucking thing. I, I have to tweet about this. It's incredibly ironic that two brothers have quite literally tailored their entire online persona as though they are... As though they are Grand Theft Auto side characters. GTA side characters. Taking a stance against the game like they're Hillary Rodham Clinton in 2012. When did Hillary Clinton do the hot coffee thing? Yeah, Grand Theft Auto 4 Statue of Happiness is literally Hillary Clinton's face. And they did that because of 2005. Yeah, hot coffee controversy. 2000, not 2012, 2005. It's incredibly ironic that two brothers have quite literally tailored their entire online persona as though they are Grand Theft Auto side characters. Taking a stance against the game like they're Hillary Rodham Clinton in 2005. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. There's definitely... There are definitely Andrew Tate style characters in this in this All game. the amazing graphics and engines and whatever people put into these video games. I feel like you could create a better objective Go blast with the game, you know? Maybe you are the police officer. Maybe you are trying to stop <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry, Carol. Criminals. And <laughs> sorry. Okay. <laughs> no, sorry, carry on. I just had a cough. I'm not talking to you. No, just carry on. No. People that never... Oh, yeah. People were mad. I saw this, too. People are mad about how many black and brown people are featured in Florida, which is insane. Are you fucking joking? What do you think Florida looks like? Who do you think lives in Miami, Florida? Motherfucker, go to Hialeah. First of all, it's impossible for you to not know anything about, like, like uh, what is it, Broward County, Hialeah, any of these places in fucking Miami, because, like, half of the rap music comes from there. What do you mean? It's like looking at New York, like, looking at Liberty City and being like, black people in New York? Miami is Dade County? Shut up, I know. It doesn't fucking matter. I, I literally lived in Florida. Shut up. Suck my dick. It's the first place I lived in. I don't know what you mean. I went to Orlando once. <laughs> yeah, Orlando is, is different. It's just so funny to be extra mad about like black and brown people, like Hispanic people being in Florida. It, it, it's just, what do you think? Rockstar Games went woke. Guys, I'm sure y'all saw the leaked trailer for Grand Theft Auto 6 yesterday in which we see the lead character portrayed as a female. Which means Rockstar thinks we're gonna pay close to 100. Yeah, I mean, this is a joke. Like, definitely. Every time Islam mentions he chose to live in Florida, I die a bit. There ain't nothing wrong with that. There ain't nothing wrong with that, okay? I'll, I'll stand by that. I mean, I, I'm, I'm more... I left. I left in a year. It's fine. It's fine to live in Florida for a year and then leave. 